Do you ever wake up just wondering, am I in? Did Jesus see what I just did yesterday? Am I saved? Did Jesus hear how I talked to my wife yesterday? There is such an instability that comes into our lives when there's no gospel assurance. Friends, we can know for sure. This doctrine of assurance was given not to satisfy guilty consciences, but to comfort those who would be overwhelmed by a guilty conscience that Jesus wiped clean. Spurgeon said it like this, and I quote, If any man may not be sure he is in Christ, he ought not to be easy one moment until he is so. Dear friends, without knowing for sure that you are safe, you have no right to be at ease, and I pray you may never be so. God wants us. He wants you, friend, to be sure of God's love for you. In 1 John, God clearly gives us a way to be sure that we are in. He gives us a way through which we know that we are saved. And He does that by giving us a test. We'll call it the behavioral test. This is what the Bible says in 1 John chapter 2, verses 3 to 6. And by this we know that we have come to know Him, if we keep His commandments. Whoever says, I know Him, but does not keep His commandments, is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps His word, in him truly the love of God is perfected. By this we may know that we are in Him. Whoever says he abides in Him ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. Did you notice that? We can be sure. We may be sure that we are in Him. Meaning, there is an objective external test to whether or not you're in Christ and it's called the fruit of your life. Are the thoughts actions and words that are coming out of your heart reflecting Christ? Are you increasingly becoming less irritable, less fearful, less afraid, less selfish, less prideful? Are you growing in compassion, self-control? If you don't see yourself walking more and more like Jesus over time, you're kidding yourself. And you can't always see it, which means you need community. You need a church that can keep you accountable. So what Apostle John is saying here, he's basically saying fruit will grow according to the nature of the tree. You can't say you're a peach tree if all you bear is apples. So look at your life, John says. Look at your character. Is it growing? Is it changing? Is it morphing more into Christ's likeness? Is there an increase in desire for the things of God over time, for God's word, for prayer? Friends, we can know for sure. This doctrine of assurance was given not to satisfy guilty consciences, but to comfort those who would be overwhelmed by a guilty conscience that Jesus wiped clean.